Hi, welcome to our time together. Go ahead and get into an easy seated position, whatever you prefer today. You can place your hands, palms facing up or down on your thighs, and noticing your spine, ensuring that you have proper posture, noticing the tailbone, traveling all the way up the lower back, mid back, upper back, up the neck, out the crown of the head, noticing the spine, taking the shoulders up and allowing them to relax, dropping them back down, letting go of anything. Taking a great big breath in and exhale, releasing. All right, hopefully you are a little bit more comfortable and grounded. And now if you would like, you can go ahead and softly close your eyes or soften the gaze. And connecting to the breath. So taking a great big inhale in. And exhale, releasing. Letting go of your to-do list. Inhale in. Letting go of anything that is going on outside of our time together. Inhaling in. And releasing. Just noticing your breath pattern. Allowing your mind to begin to clear. Noticing all the cobwebs. And just slowly cleaning out your mind. Allowing it to be a blank canvas. And with each inhale, inhaling fresh, clean, new oxygen. And with each exhale, imagining that you're releasing, letting go, taking the grip away, just relaxing. Inhale, fresh, clean perspective. And exhale. Maybe letting go a little bit more. Noticing where your body might be gripping. Bringing in that new oxygen. And releasing. And as if thoughts, when they enter your mind, Think of them as just passing clouds. Think of them as just passing items, a bird in the sky, allow it to fly away. Just not attaching and holding on to anything. It will be there. After our time together. And inhale, bring in fresh, clean oxygen, clearing the mind, clearing the mind clutter. And exhale, releasing. Now noticing your tailbone once more. Noticing that it's there grounding, supporting you to the earth. Noticing where your body is connecting to the earth. Knowing that gravity is there to support you and secure you. If you would like to set an intention for our time together, an intention could be a thought, a word, a prayer. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhaling, great big breath in. Exhale, allowing the crown of the head to come forward. Sealing the intention. Inhale, returning the head to center. Hands returning back to your sides. You can slowly open your eyes if they're closed. And if you soften your gaze, you can return back to the room as well. All right, wiggling those fingers, maybe wiggling those toes, maybe even wiggling your shoulders, waking up the body. 
All right. Go ahead, lifting the shoulders up and back. And reversing that, lifting it up and forward. Inhale when you lift up. Exhale as you lift forward. All right. Coming into stillness. Let's take the face and allow it to go to the right side. Returning to center. Exhale. Inhale, allow it to go to the left side. Exhale, return to center. Right hand stretching across the body, left hand interlacing it, giving yourself a nice subtle tilt. Gaze can go over to the right side if you'd like once more. Noticing if you're gripping, breathing in fresh, clean oxygen. And exhale, head turns to center, let arms return to center. Left hand coming across. Right hand interlacing, and you can allow your face to fall to the left side again. Breathing in, and exhale. Returning back to center. All right, hands coming to our side. Let's go ahead and just make sure our hips are grounded, rooted, and secure. Weight is evenly distributed. Inhale, lifting the arms up, gaze follows. Exhale, return to center, chin comes to chest. Inhale, gaze going up, follows. Exhale, chin coming into chest. Inhale, arms over head, gaze follows, opening up that throat. Exhale, returning to center. Taking the right hand, allowing it to go off a little bit to the right side. Left hand stretching across. Your gaze can look straight ahead or you can look up. If you're advanced, you can go ahead and deepen it a little bit more, making sure that that left hip is also remaining grounded, rooted, and secure. Breathing in. Exhale, returning to center. Left hand allowing it to walk out to the side, right hand coming across. Gaze can remain forward or you can stretch up. Breathing here, making sure that right hip stays grounded, rooted, and secure. If you walked out the right hand, feel free to walk out the left a little bit more, deepening the stretch, keeping both hips grounded. And exhale, returning to center. All right, switching across in your legs. So go ahead and allow. If you are right over left, allow it to be left over right now. Again, making sure both hips are grounded, rooted, and secure. Maybe rock back and forth, maybe rock side to side, forwards and back. Inhale, arms lifting all the way up overhead, gaze follows. Exhale, chin coming into chest, hands coming to your sides. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale. Once more. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, chin to chest, arms coming down. This time, left hand comes first. Left hand coming out, palm onto the mat. Right hand coming across and making sure that that right hip is remaining grounded, rooted, and secure. Inhale. And exhale, back into center. Right hand coming across, left hand coming across. Over top, and gaze can go up towards the ceiling or can be straight ahead. And exhale back into center. Go ahead, allow the soles of the feet to come in to meet one another, opening up those hips. The feet can go further away if you would like, or you can bring them closer, whatever your hips are telling you today. Taking a moment here, checking in, making sure that you are grounded, rooted. And allow your spine to remain straight, engaging the core, feeling how that feels. And on an exhale, folding forward if you would like. If not, just stay, stay uh, perched up. And coming down. Inhale, lifting all the way back up. All right. Let's take that right leg out to the side and bring the sole of the foot closer in. And just slowly coming down. So leg is active, foot is flexion, come down. Inhale, coming back up. Switching it across, left leg coming across. 
foot flex, leg active, sole of the right foot coming into the left thigh. And again, allowing that hand to come down if you'd like. And returning back to center. Great. Going into our tabletop position. So palms are going to come onto the mat and knees are going to be at 90. Okay. So you might want to check in engaging that core so that your spine is not curved in. It's actually strong. Strong rooted backbone, palms on the mat, wrists in line with the elbow, elbow in line with the shoulder, shoulder width distance apart, the knees in line with the hips, and legs at 90. That inside, so your elbows have that crevice on the opposite side of them, and that crevice make allowing both those arms to face one another. So the crevice is facing each other. Inhale, we're going to go ahead and allow our spine to curve, creating a U shape with our back and chin lifting up. Exhale, bringing the chin into chest and reversing the spine. Inhale, for cow. Exhale, chin coming into chest for cow. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, coming into cow. Exhale, chin coming into chest, cat. Allowing yourself to return to neutral tabletop. Taking a moment here. Right hand's going to extend all the way out in front of us. Let's go ahead and thread the needle. So allow that shoulder of the right arm to come down. Left arm can extend out if you would like, or it can stay, remain in front of the face. All right. Inhale, hand coming in to the face once more, allowing that arm to extend back out, returning to center. Recenter yourself if you came out of alignment. Wrist in line with the elbow, elbow in line with the shoulder, shoulder width distance apart, and the knees are 90 degrees. Core is engaged, strong back. All right, left arm fully extends all the way out, allowing it to come underneath the right, slowly lower, shoulder comes down, left arm comes in front, giving yourself a nice twist and arm opener. Again, if you kept that left hand in front of the face, you'd want to keep the right hand in front of your face on this side. Inhale, lifting all the way up. And exhale, extending the left arm out, returning it to center, making sure you're back in alignment once more. Okay. Extending the left leg all the way back behind you, so that leg is going to be strong and active. Come out a little bit. Okay. Engaging the core and creating a strong backbone. Your spine is supported. Exhale, allowing that leg to come down. Extending the right leg. Right leg is fully active, but is flexed. Your gaze is going to be on the mat. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Okay. Spicing it up a little bit. Extending the right arm all the way out in front of you. Engage the core, strong active spine, left leg extending all the way back, foot active, leg active. Bringing in the elbow into the knee, extending it back out. Exhale, bringing the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extending it back out. Exhale, bringing elbow to knee, extending it back out. Right arm comes down, left leg comes down. Checking back in, making sure that you are in a good stance. You, your body's in alignment. Left arm fully extends out. Right leg fully extends out. So one left active arm, one right active leg, foot flexed. On an exhale, bringing in the elbow to the knee and extending it back out. Bringing an elbow to the knee and extending it back out. Once more, elbow to the knee on the exhale. Inhale, extending it back out. Left hand comes down, right leg comes down. Tucking the toes, 
Let's go ahead and come back onto the soles of our feet with the toes tucked. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can go ahead and release that and come down. All right. So allowing that discomfort to feel those toes out, taking the wrist, go ahead and take the wrist, allow the right hand to come about six o'clock, left hand coming about six o'clock, and allowing the fingers to point towards the toes. You can release those toes if you have them curved. You can come back just a little bit, making sure that you are being safe. You can rock side to side, opening up the wrists, working on computers all day. Good to give the wrists a little attention that is not related to its normal repetitive movements. All right, coming all the way back, wrist return to center. This time allowing the palms to come up like they're facing you. The fingers are still going to point back to the toes, shaking it to the left shaking it to the right, shaking it to the front, and shaking it to the back. Doing what works for you, making sure that you keep it even. So if you go forward and back, make sure to do it both directions. All right, coming into stillness. Great. Now, again, if you don't want to get on your tippy toes, that's perfectly all right. We are going to go back on those toes, sitting back on them, taking a moment here. Let's go ahead and extend the arms all the way out in front of us, interlacing them while our toes are under us. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Exhale, returning to center. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Exhale, returning to center. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Exhale, returning to center. Taking the fingers, so you have them interlace one direction. Let's go ahead and interlace them the opposite direction. It's going to feel a little wonky. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Biceps to ears. Exhale, returning to center. Inhale, lifting arms all the way up. Exhale, returning to center. Once more, inhale, arms lifting all the way up. Exhale, returning to center. So if your toes have been Flex under you, you can go ahead, take a moment, allow them to wash out. All right, coming back into tabletop position. Okay. Go ahead, tucking the back toes. We're gonna lift all the way up into our first downward facing dog and go ahead and just walk the dog out, opening up the legs. Taking a few moments here, making sure that your weight is evenly distributed. So make sure you check in with your hands. Is one taking more weight than the other? If so, balance it out. All right. Let's go ahead and walk our feet all the way up to our hands. Just swan diving there. So just take a moment, ragdolling it out. We sway side to side. Maybe you let your hands come to your elbows. Maybe you keep them extended. Maybe you bring them around your calves. Maybe you take it to the right, you take it to the left. <sighs> allowing as if the weight is dripping down onto the mat. Allow yourself to rag doll and hang. Noticing your inhales and noticing your exhales. Maybe you shift the weight a little bit forward. All right, and slowly, at no rush, slowly lifting up. All right, 
meet at the top, allow the shoulders to go up and back, opening up, softening the heart. Taking a moment here, if you'd like to have a block nearby, it's always an option for mountain pose. Taking a block, placing it in between your thighs. By doing that, the thighs are energetically going to be pulling inwards to hold up that block. Feet are grounded, rooted and secure. Legs are active, cores engaged, opening up the chest, allowing the arms to come to your side, fully extend out. Connecting to your breath. mountain pose. So if you're doing this, you can feel it in your core, you can feel it in your legs, and you can feel it in your arms. Full active. All right. So if you did put a block in between your legs, go ahead and move it. If you didn't, continue to stand in mountain pose. It'll help you. Make sure that you feel strong, rooted, confident, feeling the earth beneath you. Taking a moment here. All right. And let's go ahead and allow our right foot to come into center. You can lift the little toesies if you'd like. Take the left foot and allow it to come over cross. You can stay just like this if you would like, going into eagle legs. Or you can bend into it a little bit more. Allow that left leg to wrap around the right. So you're on one leg, left leg is wrapped around the right. Okay. And then if you would like to, taking the hands. So we have the right leg down. Let's go ahead and take the right arm in front of us. Allow the left to come over and interlace. So right leg is fully extended, balancing. Left leg is interlaced. Right hand, as if it's a reflection of the right leg, is underneath. It is grounding the left as well. Connecting to your breath here. All right, exhale, releasing, allowing it to go back to their homes. Okay, left leg, releasing the toes, so lifting the toes up just a little bit. Grounded, rooted, and secure there. Taking the right leg this time, allow it to come over, crossing the left. So as if you're sitting down almost, you just put in your crisscross style. Uh, you can go ahead and do that, stay just like so, or if you would like to, bending into it a little bit more, wrapping that foot around the left leg. The left leg now is supporting the entire body, this time taking the hands. And instead of taking the right one in front, let's take the left and allow the right to come over the cross. Palms touch one another. Breathing here. You can bend into it a little bit more if you'd like. Breathing. And releasing, coming out of it. All right. So you're probably at the top of your mat, which is great. Stay there. We're going to go ahead and lifting our arms all the way up over our head. Great big inhale. Exhale, swan diving down. Hands coming down. Inhale, palms can come to the shins. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting all the way up. And let's take it to the right, exhale. Inhale, back in the center. Exhale, take it to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting all the way up, great big inhale. Exhale, taking it to the left first this time. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take it to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, swan diving all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, coming back onto your mat. Palms coming down. Let's take, let's take the right leg back first. Okay. Checking in here. Left leg grounded, rooted, and secure. Right foot. Scoot up a little bit. The right foot is in a high lunge position. When you are ready, lifting all the way up. Checking in, making sure to maintain your balance. Exhale, hands coming down. 
allowing that right foot to become parallel to the short edge of your mat. Maybe you inch up that left foot just a little bit. So that left leg is gonna form a 90 degree angle. So maybe you need to inch it up a little bit more, deepening it, okay? All right. And allowing the arms to come all the way up to the side. So front leg is at about a 90 degree. Back leg is at an angle, foot is secure. Arms are fully extended out, core is engaged. If there's torpedoes coming out of your hips, they point it straight ahead and allow yourself to relax into it. Right arm going down the right side, left arm coming across. Exhale back to center. Left hand coming to the thigh. This is just a reference point, no weights placed on this leg. Right arms extending up. It's a diagonal from the right foot to the right arm. Exhale back to center. Left leg is going to straighten. Arms fully extend out. Allow the palms to go face outward towards the direction that your face is facing. And left hand coming down. Right arm is extended, making sure not to lock that knee. Gaze goes up to the sky. Exhale back to center. Hands coming to the hips. Left leg is going to come in. So it is parallel to the short edge of the mat now. Both legs are. All right, you can stay just like so if you would like to. We will slowly lower down for a wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come to the mat once you reach the ground. Let's go ahead and walk our hands to the left side. And coming back to center, we walk our hands to the right side. Coming back to center. Hands coming to the hips. And slowly lifting all the way up with a flat back. Great. Easy transition. Let's go ahead and allow that right foot now to become straight. And let's fold our hands down into it. Allow that left leg to now create the toes that are up. And both toes are facing the short edge of your mat. On an inhale, pushing the ground away, lifting up into that high lunge. Connecting to the breath here. And exhale, hands coming back to the earth. Allow that foot to return back to king parallel to the short edge of the mat. That right foot staying at that 90 degrees. And when you are ready, lifting all the way up. And if you'd like to, deepen it a little bit more. Straighten that front leg and allow the toes to go out just a little bit, and extend back into your warrior two pose. Connecting to your breath, engaging the core, torpedoes with the hips as if they're pointing straight ahead, making sure that that right leg stays pointed straight. Arms extend, core is engaged. All right, left arm coming down the left side of the leg, right arm extending up. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right hand coming down to the right leg, left arm being an extension of the left leg, one straight diagonal line. Exhale, back to center. Straightening that front leg, making sure not to lock it. Allow the palms to face the same direction as you are. Right hand coming down. For triangle, gaze can go up. Connecting to the breath here. Exhale, returning to center. Hands coming to your hips. Right leg is now going to be parallel to the short edge of our mats. And slowly lowering all the way down. Hands return to the mat. Let's go ahead and take the left hand. Bring it directly in front of the face on the mat. Right hand swooping up the body, going all the way up to the sky. Exhale, replacing the left with the right left hand going all the way up to the sky this time. Exhale, returning to center. On an inhale, lifting up just a little bit. Exhale, deepening it. Taking a moment here, connecting to your breath. Inhale, lifting halfway. Hands coming into the waist and pushing the ground away. 
All right, bringing the soles of the feet in to meet one another. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, let's go ahead and come all the way down onto our backs. All right, and as we get there, bringing the legs into our chest, interlacing and rocking side to side. All right, coming into stillness, the soles of the feet coming onto the earth. Palms are going to come down as well. So have your arms by your sides, palms facing down, soles of the feet on the earth. And as if you're pushing the ground away with the soles of the feet and the thighs are energetically pulling in to meet one another, similar to what we did in mountain pose. And the core becomes engaged, lifting up for bridge. Breathing here. Exhale, slowly lowering down. All right, one more time. And lifting up, inhale. Pushing the ground away with the soles of the feet, energetically pulling the thighs in to meet one another. Palms are at your sides. Gaze is obviously up. Making sure you're doing a safe job. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Taking the right leg, bring it over top of the left, avoiding the vulnerable area. So avoiding the knee and avoiding the ankle bringing the legs in closer to the body. If you'd like to deepen it, taking your fingers, interlacing them behind the left leg, bringing it a little bit closer, opening up the hips just a smidge more, connecting to your breath. Exhale, left leg is gonna come down, right leg is gonna come down. Left leg is going to now come over the right. Again, avoiding those vulnerable areas, avoiding the ankle and avoiding the knee. Interlacing around the right leg. Breathing here. And exhale, right foot is coming down. Left foot is coming down. Hands again back to the sides. Inhale, lifting the legs into your chest, allowing them to go gently onto the left side body. Arms are gonna extend out to your sides. Gaze will go over the right shoulder. Beginning to let go, beginning to cool down. Maybe thinking back on your intention. Inhale, back in the center. If you need to reposition yourself, go ahead and allow those hips to rotate a little to the left side, bringing in the knees once more and allowing the knee to go to the right side. Gaze going in the opposite direction of where the legs are. Connecting to your breath. And inhale, back in the center. Arms coming to your sides, palms can face up or down. Right leg's gonna go all the way out to the right side. Left leg's gonna go all the way out to the left side. And you can close your eyes or soften your gaze. Again, palms can face up or down. In fact, your right hand could be on your stomach and your left hand could be on your heart. Just noticing that, just an option. Beginning to take rest in our final posture together.
and slowly rolling onto your left side body. And slowly at no rush, at your own pace, coming up into an easy seated position. side. We're going to go ahead and lift our hands all the way up overhead on an inhale. Exhale, bringing them into heart center. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives bring about that happiness and freedom for all. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you later. <laughs>